call. Over the middle, too high. One of the This is by far the best third down offense in the country. And on third and long loops, 40. Down to one. Just got it off. McCall backpedaling. Downfield. And it's caught. The other big player in the receiving game. No question. And look at just subtle pocket movement by McCall. He's off platform and drops this wow. in the bucket. That's a well-covered play by App State. Do a nice job with the safety coming off the hash. You just can't defend the perfect throw. And this is what Grayson McCall has done all season long. McCall gets rid of it quickly, juggled, and dropped by... And now two receivers that way. McCall throws downfield toward the sideline, and will get a flag at the end of the play. And that's Madison Cone. Defense number 12, 15-yard penalty, automatic first pass. And, and you've got a mismatch there. Madison Cone's 5'8". Devon Hiley is 6'2". Good call. High, and it's a good call. You, you're wrapped up. You're along the sideline. Grayson McCall. Preseason player of the year in the Sun Belt. He's been running a version of this offense basically since middle school. Yeah, this is kind of his bread and butter, and that's why he was the perfect fit for Coastal Carolina. Little pop pass. It's Aaron Bid. McCall options to White. And driven out of bounds. McCall finds Hiley. Left defend. A tornado of options now on second and one. McCall in trouble. Makes his way out of the ambush. He was what, 5'11, 235. When you see 91, Tommy Dawkins. And this is what I love about. It's third and three. McCall moves the pocket. Jump throw over the middle, wide open receiver with plenty of room to run. It's Cameron Brown, it's a foot race, and Brown with a house call. Just a terrific job here by Grayson McCall. He's rolling left, he's got nice protection, looks like he's going to take off and run, but has the wherewithal to keep his eyes downfield when under duress, and Cameron Brown... Grayson McCall. There's Isaiah field. Likely. And just Grayson bulldozing McCall. through the yards at four TDs. Does he look like he's 250 pounds to you? Doesn't move like it. Look at this kid. Look at how nimble he is. He tucks the ball high and tight, doing a nice job avoiding defenders and getting vertical. McCall runs it. You just see right here Grayson McCall on third down tonight, dropping one in the bucket on third and ten right there. Then you get the penalty down the sideline on the pass interference, all right? Let's move the sticks again. And then look at that right there, that savvy resourcefulness to keep your eyes downfield, on the move, tuck the ball on under. Blitz off the edge. McCall downfield, contested throw, and it's broken up long. Coastal is converted on every third down attempt so far today. Madison Cohn at the bottom. Make sure you don't give up a big one. Make them earn it. And we may get a delay of game. There were two there fouls. Were two fouls. Delay, of game. delay of game. Offense. Okay. Five yard penalty. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct. Offense number 57. 15 yard penalty. Third down. McCall throws to Reese White. Accelerating up field and tackled from behind. Going around the tailback with the ball out of Grayson McCall's hands so quickly. McCall to the air, to the sideline, and it's caught. I don't know how you're going to defend it. The ball's out so fast. The ball is snapped, and that kid, and Grayson McCall, knows exactly where he's going. And on a speed cut out to the sideline, this is kind of like old school routes to the sideline. You don't see many curls anymore. You don't see many true speed. Five, six years, right? And you look at those passing efficiency numbers. You start from 198.9, Baker Mayfield, 202 plus Mac Jones. Right. Look where Grayson McCall is. 
again, on pace, that may not be sustainable. He's on pace to shatter that pass efficiency mark. Well, and keep in mind, a lot of that comes because he's had 18 completions of 20 or more yards <laughs> on the season. McCall looking to run, design quarterback draw. And penetrate up and inside and work vertical. The App State coaches did not feel that Grayson McCall is anywhere near as comfortable between the B-gap, gaps between the guard and the team. Biscardi likes the ball in the middle of the field when he kicks. McCall. And that might have been a good thing that Jones dropped it. McCall shovels it ahead. And there's an opening for Brown across the 40 to the 44. A gain of 19. There's that pocket presence again. <laughs> Make a play, kid. He's going to his right. He's trying to work through his progressions. Tries to come back. Pulls it down. And at the last second with the shovel pass. Who does he remind you of? I'll tell you, he reminds me a little bit of Justin Herbert. He's wow. not quite as tall, but he's got that type of decisiveness. He's got the big arm to make all the throws. Second and eight here. McCall pumps. Throws underneath to midfield. It's caught. And Grayson McCall threw that through a, a keyhole. I mean, there was very little place for that ball to go. Big third down. Coastal told us they get across midfield. Really past the 40 in minus territory. They're already thinking, hey, we're going to go for it on fourth down. So this is four down territory for the Chanticleers. Best third down team in the country. McCall off play action. Pumps. Gets rid of it. And it's caught. And it looks to be a little short. Pass interference. Offense number six. 15 yard penalty. Replay third down. And McCall taken down after a pick. First down, McCall flips it to Isaiah Likely. And he runs out of bound. Off play action. McCall has a wide open receiver. It's Braden Bennett. But he was out of bounds. Ruled out of bounds. He makes the catch. Just needs the one foot. The ruling on the field was an incomplete pass. Previous players are the video review. This call that got reversed during our break. They're going to call this a catch on the sideline. And right here, you're going to see the right foot's down and the ball is being possessed. So once that right foot's down, the ball has been hauled in. It now does not matter that the left foot went out of bound because he's continued the act of the catch. Blackbeard's delight here on first and ten. They'll run the option. McCall keeps it. Out of the backfield, here's Reese White. And upended across midfield. White in motion. Could be an option play. Full throw. McCall sidesteps the pressure. Has an open receiver. It's caught. It's highly. And a red zone opportunity. Attack on RPO on top of that. And there it is. And look at the poise and composure and the pocket mobility. The best thing about what Grayson McCall did right there was when he was under dirt. Here and little wrinkles there. McCall out of the backfield, Reese White inside the five. Listen, you can't put your toe in the water in this offense. you got to go all in or don't run it because it's a lot. Uh, first and goal. McCall will throw. Caught. No, dropped. You're going to see him right here, and he's going to go out to the flat. You're going to see a token fake in the backfield right there, and then 10's going to come back, and I, I bet you Grayson McCall wishes he could have had that back to just throw a little bit more air under it. Just slightly more so it doesn't leap in it. Now all of a sudden you're not focusing and preparing the way you should. A call looking for Cameron Brown almost late to the sideline. McCall is sacked. Really a defensive end off to the left side of your screen right here. He's listed as an outside linebacker, but he's there. Tied at 27. Fourth quarter about to get started. Second and long. Coastal Carolina. Grayson McCall under pressure and sacked. Nine, all right. He's going to be right here and he's going to work inside on the inside stunt. Whoop. Nice job and he doesn't do it immediately. He lets the crosser from the inside tackle against App State. 
running the option. And Reese White devoured by Nick Hampton. Uh, this App State defense starting to feed off the crowd. Officials get in there quickly. The punt in August. Coastal back on offense. They pitch it. It's Bennett. They like to use him in player and head football coach in major college football. It's his son right there. McCall in trouble, throws it up. And two of the Appalachian State sideline, including a couple of long plays. Rushing three. McCall running for his life. Has an open receiver through the hands to him. And it's going to be against Coastal Carolina. And declined. And one of the few times we've seen him outside of the... App State in man coverage. Over the middle, highly on the deep slant. A first down across the 25-yard line. This is a really good throw. The token fake pop back, balls out. And if that ball's late, keep your composure. Something Coastal Carolina's done all year long. McCall directing traffic now, takes off and runs. Any passing game to these talented wide receivers. Smith, the safety, cheated up. Now backs off. Here's the blitz. McCall. Incomplete for Hiley. He little off target, rushed it just a little bit. Kitchen sinks coming at him, not only through the middle, but also you see the B gap there between the guard and the tackle right in his face. When you get people in your face, it can be very, very difficult to be accurate. And I think that ball might have got tipped just a little bit. Kick is up. And good! Appalachian State knocks off number 14. Coastal Carolina, and here come the fans.